Hello there, Castes here, and in this video I've got this muzzle-loading percussion pistol. It's a mid-19th century, fold-down trigger. Um, having a few problems with the trigger interacting with the sear, uh, the sear rather interacting with the hammer. You can sometimes feel it go in, um, but uh, so we'll have to take it apart and see what's wrong with it. Interesting screw. Walks okay there. Right, yeah, it's got one of these um, screw in double duty. springs. Hmm, interesting. Ow. Yeah. I think the problem it's got is with the spring is just out, it's just worn or no probably. Spring might be alright actually, it may well be the bottom end of that trigger. Yeah, if you see there, you can see wedge and some damage there. That may well be the problem. The half and full notches look okay, they don't look excessively worn. Yeah. That feels better. Yeah, that the spring pushes down there to make the trigger flip back. It may well run like that. It's gonna, yeah. See, it. see, it's running there. Yeah, that spring. Yeah, the spring had wandered over. 
and it's just worn that edge there. And I think that, yeah, there is a bit of a guide there, look, to keep the spring from moving too much. And I think as this has come loose, it's allowed it, the spring, the bottom of the spring to ride up and move. Okay, now, like all the best guns, it goes off at half cock. But that trigger is, it's, yeah, it's in there and it's not, it's not floppy and, you know, it's going back down. Right, uh, so what do we think of that? Um, yeah, that guide, yeah, so let me take this out and I'll show you. There's the guide I'm talking about. Spring sits in there. And it shouldn't move out of that channel, keeping it located on the trigger. Yeah. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Right, okay. Yeah, it is a bit worn on that side, but as you can see, it was running. Um, yeah, this screw setup's not brilliant, is it? Yeah, it's loosey in there, loose. What I think I'd do on this is retap that, put a new screw in there, maybe try and slip uh, a nut in as well and lock tight it. Um, because once it comes loose, that allows the bottom bit of the spring to rise up and then it can wander around in there. Hmm, okay. Okay, so let's have a look. Three. that button being recessed like that. Right, let's have a look. No. No. Could just run a 3mm tap through there. See how it goes, but I think we'd end up tapping. Let's see, let's see. So what I don't want to happen is for this three mil tap just to be holding on the existing thread that's in there and therefore making it weak. Yeah, I see it went through particularly easily. It's loose, it's loose. Mm. I'm gonna see if I can file down uh, a nut that can slip in there on the threads. 
what I could also do is um, tap the hole to a bigger size, uh, 3.5 maybe, but the problem with that is um, you're weakening the spring and you're getting it down to just the two bits at the very um, extent of the diameter of the screw hole um, holding that spring together and I don't want to risk weakening this spring so I'm uh, I'm going to go with the nut method on this one okay so I've put the gun back together and I have managed to get a nut in there I've got a new screw um, and the nut in there so I'm going to lock thread lock that it all in there and hopefully it'll prevent it from coming loose but now we're going into half and into full and that's not quite snapping back but I suspect it may do yeah if you let go of it fast like that um, yeah Okay, so um, I'm just going to um, boil this and, and card it and then uh, I think it'll be ready. So I've got the pistol all cleaned up now and uh, it's ready to go back together. I wasn't able to get the trigger out. Um, there is a telltale sign of a pin there, but I just I don't want to disturb it because it'll never go back in that well. So I think it's best just to leave that. <coughs> I think the nut is on there. No, it's not. I think it's on there. So I've got the spring in there with the nut, um, hopefully that won't move again.
quite springing home, but yeah, really don't want to be messing with that in there. Would end badly. So I've had to plug this hole here, so get this first screw in. So the pistol's all back together now, and I'm very pleased with it. Easy fix on this pistol, just making sure that the spring doesn't move. Replaced that screw, hardened it, and added the nut and some thread lock. Hopefully it won't move again. And it's all in working order. Um, yeah, so overall, very pleased with that quick, easy fix. And the gun looks a lot better now. It's been cleaned and um, maintained. I um, hope you enjoyed watching this repair video, if you did like it please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing, that really does help and thanks for watching.